All right, so in today's RoboCop video, we are going to be using the move command here. <clears throat> now I have a test folder called folder one dash move. And in here I have two test files, or these are just like text files and a sub folder here or a subdirectory, which contains another text file. And then we're gonna go ahead and see the behavior of using the move um the move tag or the move flag in robocopy so from my previous videos when we want to go ahead and use robocopy we type the word robocopy and then you will have your source folder so in this case it's going to be folder one dash move and then the next one it doesn't exist here on my c drive but i'm going to call it folder two so folder two dash M-O-V-E, and then we are gonna be using the move flag here. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we do it. All right, so that executed pretty quickly. So if we go back in here, the default behavior of the move flag in RoboCopy is to move all the files from the source um, or just the files itself and then put it into the destination and then after it's going to delete them. So we see here that it ended up deleting the two text files that we had within the main directory called folder one dash move. But if we go into the subdirectory here, we we saw it didn't um, we saw it didn't like delete them. So let's go over to our destination. In this case, it's going to be folder two, and then let's kind of compare what happened. So now we're in folder two. All it did was just take the the files in the folder one move folder, which were these two text files here, and just moved it. But it didn't go ahead and copy the subdirectories. Now, if you want to go ahead and copy the subdirectories, I'll show that to you now. But that was just the default behavior of just using the move, move flag here. So let me go ahead and delete the folder two. And then we're gonna do another test case here with um, the other command that you're gonna need if you want to copy subdirectories. So let's just go back here. This is a test one. And let's go ahead and copy this, paste it. And then we're gonna call this test two, which is fine. Come back to the C drive, make sure we deleted our folder two. And now let's come back in here and let's run this again. So let me go ahead and clear my screen. Let's just press up two times on the keyboard here. And now we're back to our original command that we first ran uh, previously. So we have RoboCopy, then we have our source, which is gonna be the same same folder name here, folder one dash move. We are going to have the destination folder called folder two dash move. We're using the same move flag. And now, like I said, there was another flag if you wanted to copy subdirectories and it's gonna be slash E and that is what you're gonna need. So now that we have that all done, let's go ahead and run it that is all good now let's see here what happened so if i go back to my main c drive here we see that folder one dash move is completely gone and now if we check in here we have seen that everything was copied over from folder one if i go through the subdirectory here yep that's the file everything from folder one dash move was completely copied over into folder two dash move and then it was deleted so that is how you use the move command just to copy files in the main directory if you want to copy subdirectories and then have everything deleted after you will use the slash e flag so uh, that is it for this video i'm going to be making more of these in the future so uh, as i progress forward we are going to be getting longer and longer and longer uh, robocopy commands and then after we can do fun things like create scripts for transferring files and such so i hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one